Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Let's check this out. Check this view. This is real special. We're up high atop Fremont Peak where our transmitter is. Of course, off to the distance there to the right side, that's the bay. And then you got the low clouds underneath. There's just a few of those. And then you got the high clouds up above. That's part of that tropical moisture uh, that we've been tracking the last uh, 24, 48 hours or so. Kind of a neat view up in the hills. And then eh, just a regular old afternoon, a slash evening at the beach there in Santa Cruz. Uh, looking really nice, uh, obviously, with the sunshine there. And very mild temperatures. That right there, that's the south swell. Yeah, a little bit of south swell creeping in. Haven't had much swell this summer, but there's a little on the way for the weekend. Doppler radar is up too. Kind of interesting, right? I uh, haven't had much use of this in a while, but last night a few showers rolled over. Very, very light. Uh, lots of spots though measured at least a little bit of rain, including parts of the peninsula and then out in the Salinas Valley uh, where we expected it to be. That was where kind of the bulk of this was going to land and you know, really wasn't much, but uh, for August, uh, a few drops. We also had the mist and the drizzle coming out of the marine layer, too. So we were doing that. Most of this is all wound down, except over the Sierra, where they're getting showers and thunderstorms due to the lift of the Sierra. They help uh, basically to bring those clouds up to elevation and wring out a little moisture, a couple lightning strikes, too. So some thunderstorms going up over the high country. Still very wet in the Sierra, so fire danger is not high at this point. Water vapor imagery, we got low pressure here. Uh, that's what's been giving us the clouds and the showers. And then check out what's up towards the Gulf of Alaska. Low pressure in August. So kind of interesting. I mentioned that because, you know, we're talking about El Nino and we're talking about uh, potentially an early start to winter maybe. So we'll see. It's still a long ways out. But in these types of years, when we get going in August or September, you know, maybe we'll see some early rain. So fingers crossed for that. But a little too early right now, but we'll see. Uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s out there today and some triple digits in the deserts, but not too bad, right? 93 Fresno, 94 Bakersfield, not the high heat we had a couple of weeks ago. 81 in Tahoe, uh, still warm in the Central Valley. No sea breeze, of course. 73 in Tahoe, 99 in Palm Springs tomorrow. Another warm one, a little warmer. So we're going into a warming trend. So now it's middle upper 90s uh, through the Central Valley, middle 80s up in Tahoe, 103 in Palm Springs, 78 in San Diego and about a 70 in San Francisco. Pretty nice. Got another evening game tomorrow night up at the park with the Rangers. Clouds for us and rain. You say rain. Yeah. Showers and thunderstorms up over the Sierra. We have that right now. Nothing at the coast, of course, just low clouds for us tonight and tomorrow morning and then clearing in the afternoon. Another round of showers and thunderstorms in the Sierra tomorrow afternoon and again on Sunday. So if you're going to be up there camping and the like up in the high Sierra, uh, keep an eye to the sky showers and maybe some thunderstorms rolling on through for tonight. We'll be back to the middle and upper 50s, kind of a mild night still with some clouds around, certainly and patchy fog and mist and all that stuff. 66 to 76 for you tomorrow coast. We'll see the afternoon clearing should be a pretty nice Saturday, mostly sunny valleys and hills still warming uh, over today. 77 to 88 uh, getting seasonably warm now, mostly sunny after some clouds in the morning hours. Here are the temps for tomorrow afternoon, a mix of 70s and 80s up in the Bay Area, uh, middle 80s, San Jose, uh, low to middle to upper 80s possible, Santa Cruz Mountains down to Santa Cruz about 76, 66 in Aptos. So beaches, the coolest spots, warmer spots, upper 80s, Gilroy, Morgan Hill, 83 Hollister, 82 San Juan Batista, but a 66 in Moss Landing, Watsonville 72 and Prunedale 68. Down in the valleys, well, middle and upper 80s for King City, warmer south of there. 78 Gonzales, 73 Salinas, and then back to middle and upper 60s around the peninsula. 66 Carmel, 68 Monterey, and a 78 in Carmel Valley. Should be a pretty nice afternoon. Your KSBW eight-day forecast. Looking pretty good here, coast. I mean, kind of typical low clouds in the morning, sun in the afternoon, slight bit of warming into the weekend, but no real big changes there. More of the changes will be felt inland where we're under that warming trend. So instead of 70s and low 80s, now we're into the 80s and low to mid 90s starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then another cool down. So just as it warms up and gets to the point where it gets kind of hot, hot, it cools back down again. And there's really no heat waves in the long range forecast. So that's good news for everybody. And just kind of a nice eight day forecast looking right there. By the way, if you miss my forecast, and I know there are other important things in life that could come up, uh, you can always get it now, uh, basically anytime you want. And how you do that is, and I'm gonna give you a second, you can get out your smartphone and you can scan this QR code. That's the way to do it. So if you want to check out the weather for the next you know, 24, 48 hours and you miss it here at the newscast, 
It's available to stream later for free on Very Local. It's the latest forecast with me, Gina, or Holt, who's ever on, anytime you want it. Download the Very Local app on your Roku or Amazon Fire TV. Basically, any smart television will do it. And it's also available on your phone. So there you have it. Now forecast anytime you want. All right. Weather quiz? Let's do it. Yeah, we've been mentioning El Nino a little bit here and there. Uh, the building El Nino uh, from earlier this summer that we were tracking has pretty much all but faded out, though. I don't know. You were still talking about it a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, still, it's still it's still building, and the question will be how strong will it be, and you know as it arrives in the fall, because that's when you start to see, right. the, you know, will the atmosphere couple to the El Nino, the warmer water, and all that, and it kind of looks like it's starting to. There are some indications with the jet stream and things of that nature that we're looking at in the North Pacific, going, oh, that's pretty yeah. pretty good for this time of year, uh, you know, because it's August, sure. you know. So let's see where it goes. We've been fooled before, and and you know, El Ninos don't always mean a lot of rain. But a strong El Nino, which this could be, generally does correlate to, to a wetter than average winter. So fingers crossed for that because, you know, we had a great year last year. But, you know, another year on top of that would just be great. See where it comes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.